Julia Borston is here with more. Easy for me to say. <laughs> Quite a tongue twister there. Yeah. But Chinese-owned TikTok faces growing scrutiny of how the social media app handles data and the question of whether it censors content. The report out yesterday says that China's ByteDance is weighing selling part or all of its TikTok app due to concerns here in the U.S. But the company responding, telling us, quote, there have been no discussions about any partial or full, full sale of TikTok. These rumors are completely without merit. Meanwhile, there was another report yesterday saying ByteDance is considering setting up a global headquarters for TikTok outside of China. The three locations reportedly under consideration are Singapore, Le London and Dublin. But TikTok has said it doesn't share user data from the U.S. with its parent company or with the Chinese government, but it is facing significant scrutiny. The Committee on Foreign Investment is reviewing ByteDance's acquisition of Musical.ly, the startup which became TikTok. Yeah, this is a company that has generated a, a big debate. Yes, 665 million monthly active users over Thanksgiving. All, all three of my nieces uh, use it. They love it, right? This really has captivated the attention, not just of millennials, but Gen Z and that younger generation. This is really the first social media app we've seen that has gained significant traction that is founded and based outside of the U.S. And so I think it'll be really interesting to see what happen, happens because we've never had regulators faced with this kind of popularity of a non-U.S. app before. And even the U.S.-based apps are facing significant concerns. Yeah. I mean, at a time, obviously, where tensions between China and the U.S. are, are at a high uh, regarding trade and national security issues across the board. Absolutely. And we've seen um, various arms of the military make specific, not just recommendations, but admonitions that members of the military should not be using TikTok um, in various ways because they do see it as a threat. And now the question is, if they if they do establish a headquarters outside of China, does that really quiet down concerns that this is a Chinese company? I mean, of course, it still is, right? It still is. Um, I think what's going to be interesting is what happens with regulation of all of the social media platforms, the question of data, the question of censorship. I think it's really notable that the topics that are front of mind with TikTok are also the same ones we're talking about with Facebook. I just think the stakes perhaps are higher when you have a non-U.S. company. One of the big Asian companies to watch and one that may IPO next year, I believe. Yeah, so ByteDance is the parent company of TikTok. Its valuation is about $75 billion.